If you have clicked on this video, you are probably interested in one of two things. You either want to learn to convey your feelings on paper to create emotionally charged artworks, or you are seeking to free your emotional burden through art therapy and creative meditation. If this is what you want to learn about, make sure to watch this video till the end as I will analyze and break down both of these questions and offer you a few very helpful exercises like drawing your breath, art meditation and more. Hi, I'm Leila. Welcome to my studio. Emotion and art is not a new subject. Artists have been expressing their emotional states through shape and color for thousands of years. Emotion is not something to shy away from. In fact, feelings are something we need to embrace and let them transform our lives, whether we are in creative pursuits or not. And art practice can really help with getting in touch with your emotional side. The one thing that I do want to point out is no matter what happens, you always have to be honest with yourself. Otherwise, no amount of art exercises would prove themselves helpful. Being frank with yourself about yourself and your circumstances is not an easy thing to do at times, and sometimes having a good chat with a therapist can be extremely helpful. And it just happens that BetterHelp is a sponsor of this video, and they have over 25,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can really help with a wide range of issues. BetterHelp is actually the world's largest therapy service, and it's 100% online. To get started, all you need to do is just to fill in a confidential form online so that BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist for you. Then you can choose your preferred way of communicating with your therapist, whether it's via text, chat, phone, or a video call. You can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. If for any reason you don't feel that the therapist is the right fit for you, you can always switch to a new one at no additional charge. BetterHelp have kindly offered a 10% discount of the first month of therapy for my viewers. To claim that, go to betterhelp.com slash Ataya. You can find a clickable link under this video. So, if you'd like to converse your emotions to the viewers, you would surprisingly have to do it in quite a constructive form and use languages of color, gesture and symbolism. We can associate different emotions with different colors. For example, mark making, just like hand gestures in conversation, can be indicative of the speed and strength of emotions. But don't be surprised if different viewers will decipher it differently, as we all make assumptions based on our own life experiences and preferences. Like for instance, color purple is seen by some as color of creativity and intuitive thinking, but others may associate it with royalty and luxury. Another great way to convey your emotions in art is through symbolism. Like pearls in my paintings almost always mean tears, as they are the tears of the oysters. A limited edition prints of this painting are available on my website. And apples can have a very strong biblical connotations and can be seen as symbols of knowledge and sun. Like for example, this painting of a crow's wing. What feelings does it provoke in you when you look at it? Now let's get to the other question and see how you can release your emotions on paper. Remember, you don't need any previous art experience to take part in these exercises. If you find yourself really highly strung and want to release the emotional energy, 
then doing something that involves lots of large movements will help. Take a large piece of paper or a canvas and just go for it. You can choose a specific subject or solely focus on the movement. The faster and larger your movements are, the easier it will be to get rid of your pent-up emotions and get them unstuck. Singing loudly or even shouting if you must will add to the release. Exercise like this will also help you to rid yourself of your inhibition. While doing this exercise, imagine that your strong emotions of anger, pain or whatever you are feeling in the moment are channeled through you but leaving your body, your soul and your mind. Next exercise is mindful art. This is where you let yourself feel and express your emotions without judgment. This is something that is about a process rather than the finished work. You can let your feelings take you on a non-judgmental way and then let your art process open you up even further. To start this exercise, close your eyes, make note of any feelings or emotions that are running through your mind, start making marks on paper, do the lines and marks provoke any emotions, let these lines lead your emotions. Now today these lines resemble waves for me, it's not the same every time, sometimes I start to go into the circles and things like that, spirals, so it really does depend on the mood, what feels more organic, what feels like a more of a natural push for yourself. So always make sure to just go with the flow. Next look at your color palette and see which ones resonate with your feelings. Are you drawn to the dark and the rich colors, or soft and the gray, or perhaps the bright ones? You might find that you are drawn to the combinations of colors. Let your feelings guide the way, and the art flow take you into the creative meditation. Remember, this practice is not about what your art looks like. It's about how it feels and where it's taking you. When choosing your colors, just let yourself choose whatever you feel like. Really, truly, this is what I mean about being honest with yourself. Don't think about any color theory that you studied before. Don't think about what's in fashion now. Just go for what your soul is asking for don't feel that you're obliged to go with what you have drawn if for some reason you feel that it's better to move out of those lines make them wider no judgment at all if colors match if they don't match makes no difference at all. Merge some colors together. This exercise can help you with self-acceptance and deepen your connection with yourself and perhaps even help you trust yourself more. With this exercise, you can also monitor your mood as well. Like for example here, with what I've created, I can really see the fluid energy just going through, almost like waves. And at the same time, the color choices I sort of felt that I had to go for kind of now remind me a little bit of the sunset as well. So I was in quite a uh, relaxed state. So this is what happened. 
If I would have been more stressed or angry or just feeling a little bit more depressed, the color choices and the shapes would have been different. Um, you probably would have seen more um, angles, sharp lines, really dark colors, or sort of with concentrated sort of doodling in one spot and things like that. So it's also a good way to just see where you're at, you know. And remember, you can use any materials you want. You can use felt tips, pastels, paint, pencils, anything you want to use is absolutely fine. If you are enjoying this video, make sure to check out the Patreon page where you will be able to find more tutorials that are not available here on YouTube. You will also be able to participate in voting and suggesting for new videos. Of course, depending on which tier you will choose to be a part of. We have a really great fun community on Patreon, so make sure to check it out. Okay, let's get back to the video. The third technique is called drawing your breath. Now, this is a perfect practice to calm yourself if you are overstimulated or want to relax yourself down before sleep. All you have to do is take a pen or a pencil. Anything will do. But you can use your favorite colors too if you'd like. And start making lines upwards as you breathe in and downwards as you exhale. Just like this. This is a very simple art meditation and it makes you focus on your breath. It's a perfect exercise for people who find it hard to switch off or meditate. Notice how your lines are evolving. If your pattern is extending downward, then your exhalation is getting longer. If it's moving upwards, then you are taking longer to inhale. As you continue with this exercise, you will observe that your lines are expanding as your breathing relaxes and becomes slower. And you probably know that longer, slower breathing is the key in relaxation. It's a great exercise to do anywhere really, as all you need is a piece of paper and something to write with. You can do it at school or work or even on the bus. Anytime you feel stressed, a few minutes of drawing your breath can be really beneficial. Hopefully, you'll be able to relax and use all the techniques and concepts from this video to help yourself to release and calm your feelings. Thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video and to my wonderful patrons for their amazing support. Thank you! Watch more relaxing and informative videos on this channel. Some are popping up on your screen right now. Hope you've had a lovely time and thank you for drawing with me.